What's up guys, Michael here with Jaspies and today we are going to be doing the 2022 Topps Gold Label 16 box case break number 3 PYT and uh, all cards in this break will ship. Um, let's switch to the camera here. Thank you to this group here for making this break happen. Got all the teams here. So remind them what the rooftop means and remind them what cool. the uh, star means. So the star uh, next to Andrew is Last Spot Mojo. Last Spot Mojo! <laughs> the roofs are, uh, you got a spot in the filler and then the double roof is the uh, free spot given away yeah, in the filler. The double roof. Double roof. And then they I think there's... The, they got the extra spot, yeah. then they got a team. It's pretty good. Then Ryan with the star and the roof had last spot in the filler. So... Cool, let's get into it. Got the case here. And also, just as a note, mm -hmm. that's your mute button right there. Yeah. So if you have to cough or sneeze or whatever, you can, you can do that. Unless you want people to hear you cough. <laughs> All right, first box. I think the trickiest things once you, once you're breaking is getting used to this camera being right yeah, here. So, totally. so that's just something you'll just get used to. But just be mindful of that. Upside down in the packs. They're backwards. And as you're breaking, try to keep the cards on camera. Uh, my guess is if there were like more than a dozen teams left and it suddenly sell, sell, sells out, that's most likely filler. All right. Box number one here. Let's do it. And then we got a Raphael Devers out of 50. And that is a class two for Boston. We got a Bobby Witt. Oh, and a numbered Bobby Witt here. Back to back, the Brandon Marsh. So that is going to be it's so hard to see the numbers on here. But that is out of 150. Yeah, I, I gave up on check, checking <laughs> like the class numbers because they're so tiny. They're always tiny every year. But That is for uh, Steve. Yeah, sometimes it'll take a second for the yeah. focus to catch, but the, yeah, I've got a good idea. On nice that. one there. Get into the auto here. 
Bueller, and the auto is Luis Gill for the Yankees there. Not numbered. Gold. The Yankees, that's Nancy. Alright, that's it for box one. Do it. Box number two here. Right off the bat, we got a Ronald Acuna at a 150 there. Go ahead, get that one sleeved. Sixteen out of 150. Bobby Witt, down sleeve, and Shane Bells. <laughs> it is supposed to be fun. I'm laser focused though. <laughs> Don't want to mess up. Devers, all right, getting to the end of the box here. Judge, Jackie, Acuna, Rohan, and the auto is Daryl Strawberry. That's a nice one there. Nice gold frame, not numbered. And that is going to Rob and the Mets. All right, box number three. All right, box three. Let's 
to it. Got a Torkels in there. Oh, that's number. We got a chipper out of uh, 99. That's a class one. And that is going to Steven and the Braves. Get a Torkels in there. Wonder. Get into the auto here. Byron Buxton. Out of 50, that's a blue. Nice. Byron Buxton, that is going to Anand and the Twins. Nice. Out of 50 there. And the last card is uh, Jess. Sure. You got it, David. All right, let's do it. Box number four. Got a Cal Raleigh at a 150 there. That is going to Rob in the Mariners. And a Jackie Robinson. The Kershaw behind it. Jackie Robinson is a class two purple that is out of 75 for David and my Dodgers. Joe's not here, so they're mine. And uh, flip the, the frame over and get it like this. For the Diamondbacks, Jake McCarthy. And we got uh, Votto and Devers with base cards. Jake McCarthy, that goes to Richard and the Diamondbacks. Cool. I just want to ring the bell one time.
That's all I want. So, uh, let's, uh, let's, I want to see something crazy. <laughs> the train whistle, that's, I don't know, that's, uh, I think Joe's got that trademarked, so, I don't know if, if I'll be doing the train whistle, but, let's see, maybe, uh, if we see something crazy, something, something might just come out on the top, from the top of my head, so let's, uh, let's see, maybe I'll embarrass the hell out of myself. But I hope so. I hope I have the opportunity to do that. So, all right, box number five here. CJ. Whoa, back to back CJs. It's a class one and a class two. Ted Williams. And Mookie. Kershaw. Freddy. Wander there. That is a class one. And a Reggie Jackson. Looks like out of one fifty there. Nice for the Yankees. Let's leave this wander here. Got the Verlander. We'll flip it over here. Got the Xander base on the back. Whoa! They pulled a trick on us. This one is backwards now. For the Cubs. Alfonso Rivas, rookie auto for the Cubs there. Xander. Thought it was going to be a Seiya. Let's see if we can get that to focus. That is going to Ryan and the Cubs. Ryan had the last spot in the filler. So a little bit of last spot mojo there. All right, box six. Still waiting, maybe we can get a, one of those dual autos. I'm a big rookie. Something super short printed. All right, I'm actually gonna flip it this way the bottom one so I don't have to try and fumble it at the end to uh, get it over. J-Rod, that's the first one I've seen of him. You can get a J-Rod auto or a numbered card and a Torkelson. Ah, there we go. Torkelson there. And the uh, J-Rod is a class one. A 
Abrams, Andre Jackson, and uh, Pete Alonzo out of uh, one. Is that a one out of 99? First on print? Yeah, it is. Pete Alonzo, one out of 99. That is a class one. That is for uh, Rob and the Mets. Let's keep it going, let's keep it rolling. And we got another numbered card. Jose Abreu. That Jose Abreu is out of 99 as well. That is a class two for the White Sox there. And the auto. Is well okay. Now they're pulling tricks on us. Gavin Sheets, Cubs again. No way. Back to back boxes. We got the Acuna. There, Alfonso Rivas, rookie gold frame auto. For the Cubs again, Ryan Harold. Back to back boxes. All right, this time I'm not going to flip it. I'm not going to flip the frame. And hopefully. It is the right side up this time. Oops. Kansas State is up by five. I may or may not have a little bit of money on it. Don't tell my mom. Not kidding. Box number seven. Let's get it going. It's not money, it's units. Yeah, sorry. Got to wander there. Yeah, Joe. Joe speaks in units. No unit shaving. <laughs> nice. The kid, Ken Griffey Jr. I think that look that's out of seventy uh, five. Yeah, out of seventy five, Ken Griffey Jr. For uh, Rob in the Mariners. Say, uh, Royce Lewis, Juan Soto. All right, we're getting to the uh, frame here. Nick Lodolo, Frank Thomas. All right, we got it the right side up this time for the Phillies. Is that Veerling? Matt Veerling. Not numbered rookie auto for the Phillies with a hundred green behind it. Nice. That is going to Boyd in the Phillies. He got his spot in the filler. Nice. Hundred green there. 
All right, we're getting to the halfway point in this case. Box number guys got tonight uh, UCLA or Gonzaga what's everybody's official predictions uh, I'm just not on a roll with this packs UCLA for David me too All right, box number eight. Zags are not good enough. Yeah. Kansas State wins the whole thing. That, uh, you know, anything is possible in March. I'm going to wander there. Got sheets. Hey! Local kid. Lars Nupar and World Baseball Classic Champion there out of 75. It's a nice one for uh, Steve and uh, the Cardinals. Steve with the free spot in the filler there. No wonder the Rays. I think they, for those interesting. Touch slow. Oh, look at that. Three Yankees in a row. We're getting to the uh, frame here. And sheets. Let's do it. For the Blue Jays, Kevin Smith, rookie autograph for the Blue Jays. How are we doing here? Good. We are halfway through now. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, we're having fun. We're talking college basketball. I saw the, uh, the did you pull a Julio to 25? Uh, no. No, the base? No. It was just a Julio. I, there was a Lars Newport out of 75. No. I thought I saw Julio Rodriguez. Numbered card. Now there's a. No. Maybe you were watching your break from last night. <laughs> Maybe I was. <laughs> Alright. Let's bring these up a little bit. Here we are, box number nine. Whoa. The frame card. Whoa, something's going on here. We're going to find out what is going on in this box. Oh, that is what. Oh yeah, it was a Griffey, not a. Oh, it was a Griffey. All right, thanks. Go Bruins. Go pack 10 or 12. 
All right. Box number nine of the case here. Let's do it. Torkelson there. And a Jaren Durant numbered out of 150. 120 out of 150. That is a class one going to uh, Ed and the Red Sox. Here we got the uh, auto here for the White Sox. Romy Gonzalez. Not numbered. Chicago White Sox. It's going to Steven. And we got something else in here. I have not seen one of the relics. I think it's upside down here. It's out of 50. That looks like Vladdy Sr. Bat Relic. Nice. Yeah. That is out of 50. That is going to... <laughs> the Expos. No one has the Expos. I'm kidding. Boyd. It's going to Boyd. Nice. I know. I know. <laughs> Two out of fifty there. Nice. <laughs> Did I get you, Ryan? Did you believe me? The new kid on the block doesn't know baseball. So you don't know hockey? Yeah, it's on my heart. It just hasn't really stuck with me. So, so. To be fair, I don't know much about Not hockey. Not even bit. I get, I get a little more credit than that. <laughs> Box number 10. Sanjay Royce Lewis. Ooh, that's out of 35? That is a Royce Lewis Class 3. A smidge at best. That is the uh, Royce Lewis at a 35 for Anand. Nice hit there. Royce Lewis was a former number one pick, right? He was. Yeah. Torkos in there. And a Bobby Witt. Nice. Let's keep it 
going here. The kid. The kid again. Okay, there's... Interesting. There's a J-Rod. Oh, he's cool. We have not even seen a single O'Neill Cruz rookie card in this case. It's a class one. Not one O'Neill Cruz. I'm just noticing right now. Alright, here we go, the auto. It's backwards. They, and they keep flipping the autos on us. Oh, look at that. Cal Raleigh. Uh, I think Julio has a redemption. Just anyway. Jagger in there. Cal Raleigh for the Mariners. That is going to Rob. Not numbered. Nice hit there. We're getting there, getting to the end. Six boxes left. I'm still waiting on it's something big. Something that'll get Joe out of his chair to come to a train whistle. They told me to do a train whistle, Joe. I said it's you have it trademarked. It's trademarked. Yeah. Michael will eventually come up with his own thing. Yeah. Or not. You don't have to. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a sound deck. Mm. You ever seen that meme of that guy where he just goes, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll have to show it to you after this. Every time we get a big hit, it's just going to be, wow. It kind of sounds like... Oops, hit the camera a little bit. Owen Wilson or something. <laughs> wow. Or wow. Wally. Wally. <laughs> Owen, Wilson might, Owen Wilson might be Wally. Wally. Yeah, there we go. Just crack a code. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I think Owen Wilson's Wally. <laughs> Owen Wilson is every Disney character. They tried to banish him to another planet. Here. Ka-chow! Ka-chow! Wow! Wally! <laughs> I've got a Javier Baez out of 99. It is almost impossible to read the serial numbering on these cards. Yeah, the, they, they put it in a... 99. Just stamp it on the back. Yeah. Ooh, Juan Soto out of 35. Padres edition? Padres edition. That is going to... Boyd, 33 out of 35 there. Let's get that to folks. Okay. No. All right. The auto is backwards again. I can't get it. Over. Ooh, out of twenty-five, the Reds. Is that Jonathan India? Yeah. Nice. Jonathan India. I realized that the Elite Eight, one of the Elite Eight games, is in Vegas. The UCLA games tonight is in Vegas. UCLA. Yeah. Hmm. You gotta get there. Am I going to a game? Out of 25, nice. For uh, David and the Reds. Nice hit there. How much do you think these, these college basketball games are? Expensive. Are they really? Yeah. Jeez, it's 200 bucks for nosebleeds? Yeah. Like, I'm looking at the 200 section. Where is it, T-Mobile? Yeah, T-Mobile Arena. 
paying that. All right, let's fill up some breaks so that Joe can uh, get some tickets. <laughs> I know, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Or maybe give him some locks that he can put his yeah. units on. Give me, give me, give me, I'll put some, put some units on some locks to, <laughs> I mean, I guess that game's on until 6.40 or something. Yeah, Saturday. I can, uh, I can bet on some spring training game early in the morning at the sports book when I'm there. And then, uh, are you staying at the win? No, I'm staying with family. Uh, I look and then I then I now I realize why it's so expensive because the the nights at all the hotels were like a lot and I was like what yeah nothing going on this weekend and I was like oh man, lead eight sweet sixteen lead eight college basketball game, so like, that makes sense my dad asked me he's like do you want to go to the UCLA game I was like no <laughs> no wow you turned down like I want to go to the game but like I don't want to go to Vegas. <laughs> Right now, I know what it'll do to me. Right, right. Uh, let's go, box number twelve. Already off the bat, that is a uh, Anthony Rizzo out of fifty for Nancy and the Yankees. That is a class three blue. <laughs> We got a J Rod. Class one there. Abrams. So. The NFL sent out a memo to all clubs Thursday notifying them that a person who is not certified by the NFLPA might be attempting to persuade team personnel to enter into contract negotiations with Lamar Jackson. What? Yeah, some guy named Ken Francis, who's not a certified agent with the Players Union, might be contacting teams regarding Jackson. The memo distributed to all 32 teams read... As an uncertified person, Mr. Francis is prohibited from negotiating offer sheets or player contract or discussing potential trades on behalf of the other. What? <laughs> oh my god. Let's get that. Uh, Joe Ryan out of so, 99. So like, this dude is like calling up the Ravens or calling up other teams being like, hey, here's an offer sheet. <laughs> that is... That is incredible. All right, the auto for the White Sox. Jake Berger. Nice. Put the uh, sander there. Jake Berger for the White Sox. That is going to Steven. Nice. Some decent ink work there. There it is. All right, let's get it. Box 13, oops, it's just the base, Javier.
Look at that. Look at that. The first O'Neill Cruz rookie card of the whole case. That is a class one. And a Bobby Witt. And what? The second one in the same box. Actually, is that the same exact card? The same exact card in the same box. What do you think of O'Neill Cruz, Joe? I like O'Neill Cruz. I do too. Just raw talent. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if he kind of keeps that up. But like those like those exit velo numbers that he was posting last year. It's incredible. Are just insane. Yeah. Like 115, 20 miles per hour off the bat. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. There's a Torkelson. Some good rookies in this box. Oh, and look at that. C.J. Abrams. Out of 50. Red. In the class 2. O'Neal Cruz is 6'7"? Yeah, he's huge. Jeez. There we go. C.J. Abrams. That's a little color match there. And his, that's a Nationals edition going to Boyd Jackson. And a wander. Alright. And the auto here. For the Braves. Spencer Strider. Nice. For uh, Steven and the Braves. Great mustache. Yeah. Look at that. Heating, a, heating up a little bit with the last three boxes. Nice. Nice hit there for the Braves. All right. Three more boxes to go. Jose Siri go to the race. Oh. I've never even seen him play. I just remember him oh. being an Astros jersey. Yeah. August 1st of last year. Oh. In the three team deal, Orioles got Seth Johnson from Tampa. Astros got Trey Mancini. Ah, uh, in that deal. And then. Yeah, and Jaden Murray from Tampa Bay. Yeah. Uh, series to Tampa. Yeah. All right. Box number 14. Price and start. Bobby Witt. That is a It's a class three. That is a class three Bobby Witt Jr. That is a nice hit for uh, Kansas City Steve. Getting his spot in the filler. Nice.
for the Reds. Oh, really? Hunter Green. Hunter Green autograph. The Walker Bueller on the back there. Nice. For David and the Reds. I think he's a, he's a LA kid, right? Hunter Local Green. boy, Hunter yeah. Green. Nice. Nice hit there. All right, final two boxes. Uh, Hunter Green went to Notre Dame High School. Yeah, so by Sherman Oaks, I think. Yeah, yeah look at that autograph. Beautiful. Yeah, I remember uh, when he was in high school, he used to hit the piss out of the baseball. Yeah. And now he's a pitcher. We met him at a um, random, or a, not random, but we met him at a top industry conference a while ago. Oh, really? Yeah. And me and his, and his dad went too. And at that time, the Reds were planning on making him a two-way player. Yeah. He was going to be like a shortstop and a relief pitcher. And at the time, he was like, I hope they let me keep doing both, but I guess they yeah. eventually convinced him to be pitching. Well, he throws like a hundred miles per hour. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> he does have some control issues, but you know. All right, box number fifteen here. Let's do it. And a Torkelson, number two, ninety-nine. There, it's a nice hit for uh, Steven the Tigers, who got that spot in the filler. Um, listen to this. Outside of baseball, Hunter Green enjoys painting and playing the violin. <laughs> really? It's just not fair. No. The, the guy throws 100 miles per hour, plays professional baseball, and what gets paints and plays violin too. <laughs> Do you think, well that's like... Talent. But there's five tools in baseball. Right, it's just a so five, it's, tool, five tool human being. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think talent. there's anyone else on planet Earth that could throw 100 miles per hour? Right. And plays violin and, recreationally. <laughs> And paint. Got a Walker Bueller for my Dodgers, not Joe's, mine. Well, she's going to have like a poetry book out soon. And we're going to be like, come on. Out of 99. All right. And the auto. For the Royals, Jackson Coar. Mm. Not exactly the Bobby Wood Jr., but still a nice hit for Kansas City there. Steve. And another filler spot for Steve. Go. All right. Here it is. Last box of the break. So Last. the Yankees are worth $7 billion. <laughs> the Yankees are? Yeah, they just released a new valuation report. Up 18%. $7.1 billion. How much are the Dodgers worth? They also went up about 16 17%. They were at 4.8, almost $5 billion. Uh -huh.
All right, last box here. Let's do it. Got a Kershaw for the Dodgers there out of 150. That is going to David. David M. Oh, and right on top. Cal Ripken Jr. That is a red class two out of 50. That is going to Baltimore. David M. again. What's Cal Ripken Jr. doing these days? I'm not sure. Like his brother's on baseball MLB network. Just enjoying retirement, I guess? That's what I would be doing, right? Skull. Skull. All right, the last auto in the last box of the case. For the White Sox, I think I know who that is. Romy Gonzalez. We saw his auto twice. Oh, but this one is blue out of 50. A little bit better than the last one. Nice hit for Steven and the White Sox. And uh, do a little recap here. Yeah, hit him with the recap. Nice. Good job, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Let's do it. All right, we got the Romy, Coar. Got a Torkelson out of 99. There's a Torkelson on uh, no, no, oh, no, it's that numbered. Beautiful Hunter Green autograph here. Love that Hunter Green. Got a Bobby Witt. This one's a class three. Nice Strider autograph. Great mustache. Great mustache. <laughs> it's a CJ Abrams out of 50. Let me get this to focus. Jake Berger. Nice Jonathan India out of 25. Cal Raleigh. Royce Lewis out of 35. Got a Vladdy uh, Bat Relic out of 50. Another Romy Gonzalez there. Kevin Smith. Matt Vierling. And we got two back-to-back -back Alfonso Rivas autographs. Jake McCarthy. A Buxton out of 50 there. Daryl Strawberry. Luis Gill. And a Bobby Witt out of 150. And uh, that does it. Right? Yeah, that does it. Great so, job. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.